so no joke, when I was creating this presentation, I didn't even consider the fact that several of my professors are here. So this is really awkward, but these are the things that they did not teach me when I was in college. <laughs> the, <laughs> so Doug and Scott and Don, you did not teach me that I would not have homework after college. It has only just begun. The only difference now is instead of it being my grade that matters, if I don't get my homework done on time, it's going to be the kids' grades that matter and their future, and they'll die in the streets or whatever if I can't get them to pass my class. It always seems also in my class that students will have internet access because they are on it all the time, except for when they come to you between classes or when you're most busy and then they ask you, what is my grade in your class? And you say, why weren't you checking your grade while you were tweeting to your friends? You're super annoying. Go away. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Also, they'll never check my blog to watch the videos I've created or YouTube to get help on their homework. So, something that I thought was that getting called into the principal's office would occasionally be good. Maybe you would get a compliment or a candy bar or a high five or something. That has never happened to me. But you will be called in the principal's office because students and parents will always talk to everybody about you before they will talk to you about their problems. So be prepared. There is never a good reason to go into the principal's office. So just take a breath before you do it. Also, the other thing that will kill you is that students will always think that their grade is something that you gave them rather than something that they have earned. And so you just need to be prepared at the end of the term when you are struggling to pull your failing students into a passing grade, you will always have those flies buzzing around your head asking what they can do to get an A when they have a C. And so just be prepared for the battle because it's going to be there sooner than you know. No offense to the women, but teenage girls are the meanest girls in the world. There's a reason I don't date. I never dated in high school and I can't date now. It's because they're mean. And that's just the awful truth. I teach at a middle school when they're just learning how to be mean. And so they get lots and lots of practice and they will make your life miserable if they can. And they do. That's why I get called in the principal's office. You have to prepare for your whole day before you walk into a faculty meeting because you know better than anybody else that your principal is going to keep you tied to that chair up until the first bell rings. This happened last week. I was in a meeting and the first bell rang for class. I still had copies to make and they were like, hey, go grab a Chromebook. We want to teach you guys something cool about the Chromebooks. And we were all looking around like he was the craziest person in the world. I actually snuck out around the corner and I went and I made my copies anyway. If you're single as I am and you have full remote control, control at your house, you need to keep a drawer available. No joke. The first day I walked into school and I started meeting, meeting the other teachers, I'm in a small community, so they were all like, oh, do you have a family and things like that? And I was like, no. And they said, oh, I have all of these nieces for you. Uh, I just had a return missionary in my ward. She would love to meet you. And I said, you don't know anything about me. I'm crazy. I love to swear I'm not rated our movies. Don't send the sister missionary my way. You will never win the cell phone battle in your school, so do not plan on it. But it's okay because there's justice in the world. My principal still hasn't figured out how to win the cell phone battle with me, and neither have the presenters here. I've been on it playing Flappy Bird still, and that was from last year. So just be prepared that you will never win that cell phone battle. You can choose to pick your fights, but I use it as a gauge to figure out if I'm being boring or not. The more cell phones on the desks, the more I need to change the way I'm doing things. Never, ever ask students for a random number to solve a problem because there are only two numbers that exist in middle school. I apologize for the offense that's about to happen. <laughs> I had one student who would never do homework. I finally made him a worksheet that only used those two problems. It was the only assignment he did all year. The last thing that you need to know before you start teaching is you have to erase your identity from the internet because I don't have any social media. I never, ever have. I hate it. Last year, at the end of the year, this photo circulated from my past. This was Halloween 
five years ago. Somehow they found it and an old colleague's, the business isn't even open anymore, but they were able to find this picture and it got around. And that was the worst day of my life. 